Normally we don't talk about mini vans, but today we're going to talk about mini vans. Steena, Procida, Lucida, million other Japanese names. What's this one? An Amina. Nice. Kind of like these things. It's like a spaceship. Check it out. Dogs like them, obviously. Cool thing about these are they used to come with an on-off supercharger. This is the Mad Max of mini vans. They come with the superchargers controlled by the ECU. So when you need extra power, they've got an electromagnetic clutch, kicks in like an AC unit, and all of a sudden, boom, supercharged power. Kind of cool. And they come in five speed, automatic, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So in theory, you get a rear wheel drive, supercharged, five speed minivan. It's a rock and roll dream, right? In the back in here, it's a bit more exact than the normal standard minivan. Not much for Americans, really, not not funny fancy, but the fact you can get it like this. For British people, that's incredible. You can spin both chairs around, drop it down, make it a uh, bed, you come with curtains, extra aircon units. These things are awesome. You go camping in them. I don't know, I must be a Japanese thing. We've got a pile of speakers in them, but they're like kind of a executive weekend camper, minivan, school run, rear wheel drive, supercharged thing, right? Still think they look cool even though they came out in 1990. Got this, spoilers. Cool. The other thing is, in the back, they got folded seats, they fold up against the side, and the huge fold space. Turn the seats backward. Incredible. It's good stuff, really. They're just a handy, handy thing to have. Plus, four cylinder fuel injected. Not actually that bad to run. Inside, this is the usual problem with them. Broken door handles. You can yank on this little stick thing, will be earth broken out. It is like heaps of room in it. It's like a spaceship. Check it out. You know, they come with all the cool things as well, like tilt, folding columns, overdrive, automatics on the trees, you know, rear heat, like enough buttons for a spaceship, kind of a cool dash. I dig these things, they're really good. However, here is the problem. When they built these, they come up with a great idea of inclining the motor down here, like here, it's, you sit on it. Like, so it's got a great weight balance. It's kind of almost like a mid-engine minivan, if you think about it. If you look under the hood, there's nothing. The engine's there. So if you want to change the spark plugs, you have to take up the seats, and then there's like a little cover in here, which you've got to get to to change the spark plug. That's where the problem is. They've also got a remote accessory drive, which means all the alternate everything is up there. So it is really complex. They've got a 75 degree flat four in them, and everything is stuffed under here. So to take the engine out, it comes out these doors, backwards. It's kind of tricky, and that's what killed all of them off. They blow head gaskets, and nobody wants to fix them, because it's such a nightmare to pull the things out. But apart from that, if you can find a good one that's been looked after, these are a great, great band to have. But... Mechanic friendly, they're not. There's nothing here. Like, there's just nothing. It's just a whole lot of nothing. And then everything is buried in there. You have to pull off lots of plastic covers to get at anything. Let's take it for a spin. Jump it. Like. Open the door the traditional way. So this one is, you know, utterly illegal, which is cool. No plates, no nothing. It's the end of its life, sadly, rust in the chassis. But apart from that, check this out. Smooth, quiet, really quiet. Comfortable, electric windows. And heaps of power, like heaps of power. These things are incredible for a minivan. Well, this one's automatic, which is a bit of a shame because if it was manual, then we could go and do some donuts. And we could probably do donuts in this anyway, but I think we will. But 
but for an economical cheap school running van you can't go too far wrong you just need to be sort of a NASA astronaut to work on the, uh, the motor and gearbox but I suppose if you have one for a while you get used to it it's even a decent turning circuit it's just a one handed driving thing obviously these were awesome when they were new now again hard to get if you want to pick for a classic minivan I can't believe I'm actually going to say that and you fancy something a little bit kind of retro Star Trek -y kind of 90s Babylon 5 type of thing you can't go too far wrong plus you can feel like a kind of mild Japanese executive minivan school run driver so it's my recommendation for today find a cheap decent supercharged one of these get hold of it now because this thing's going to be JDM classic in the next couple of years